Hello and welcome back. I know it's been a while since I've uh, put up a tutorial. Uh, I've had a lot of stuff going on, but I promised you guys that I'd have one here soon, and uh, here it is. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add a piercing to somebody in Adobe Photoshop, and I'm going to go ahead and just uh, get started. Um, you may want to use this technique on a picture of yourself, or a picture of one of your friends, or uh, maybe, maybe even for a piece of work that you're doing. Uh, so the first thing that you want to do is obviously find the image that you're going to use. Always try to use the best quality image that you can. This one's very high res and uh, already seemingly photoshopped a little bit. So um, it's a good one for me to start with. Uh, as you can see, she already has some piercings. So uh, adding this piercing to this person is going to seem pretty natural. Uh, but, you know, obviously you can use this technique to add piercings to somebody that maybe it like, makes a little less sense, so it's completely up to you, obviously. Um, but what we want to do after we open up our image is we find a picture of a lip ring, and I'm going to go ahead and take one from uh, a different picture that I found online. As you can see, I've already cut out the lip ring. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the image that I got it from, uh, just so you can see. So I found a girl that had a lip ring, and I cut out the image, and... Um, and I can, I'll link a tutorial on how to cut out people in Adobe Photoshop and um, you, you use the same technique just to cut out the, the ring, okay? So what I've done is I converted that ring into a smart object and uh, I'll go ahead and do that again right now so that you can see how that's done. Um, so I've cut out the ring and I have my layer that I, that I cut it out on. So what I did is I pressed Control J on my keyboard to make a copy of the layer and then I, uh, I went up to layer down to smart object and convert to smart object and the reason we want to do that is because it, it kind of flattens it but it also allows you to go back and make edits if you need to um, so that's what I went ahead and did I'm gonna go ahead and crop the image down too because we don't need the entire um, canvas here we just need this little part so I'll go ahead and just crop it right down to the ring and then uh, we'll move the layer over to our uh, to our our girl here. So what you want to do if you have both of the uh, documents uh, docked at the top of your page, you're gonna. This is how I usually do it. You just uh, go ahead and uh, drag the one off to the side, and then just drag your uh, the layer that you want over on the other image on top there. And after you do that, you can go ahead and drag that back up to the top if you want, and um, and that'll be there for you if you need it. As you can see, the ring here is way bigger than we need it, and uh, it's also a little fuzzy around the edges. So at this point, if we wanted to, and I'm going to go ahead and rename the layer, um, lip ring, just so I know what I'm working with. Uh, but like I was saying, at this point, you could go ahead and add a um, layer mask to this and clean up the edges. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to uh, make the video too long for you guys, okay? but that's uh, you could do that right now um, but the next thing that you want to do is press control T on your keyboard to uh, transform it the other way you can do that is go up to edit down to transform and uh, or, or free transform here and that's what I, that's the same thing okay so uh, you have to make sure that you have that lip ring layer selected before you do that as well okay so if you hold shift on your keyboard and uh, click and drag one of these corners down you can size it down to about the size that you want and for her we're gonna need it pretty small or a lot smaller than it was anyway and I'll go ahead and double click to make that change permanent just so, or to make it apply to the page and then I'll uh, go ahead and get my zoom tool from the toolbar here and I want to zoom right in on her lips and the ring as you can see that ring is off it's uh, tilted in a way that won't work so what we'll do is we'll press control T or we'll go up to edit and down to free transform again and we'll just uh, with the, um, the mouse we'll click and drag this corner so that it's at an angle that looks more proper and we'll position it exactly where we want it okay and that's essentially it okay if you zoom out you can see that that's about it and uh, this rings still a little bit too big right now so you're gonna wanna fine tune it so here we go I'm gonna move it down a little bit and I'm gonna zoom back in I press Z on my keyboard to zoom in 
and we'll zoom in about that far so we know how to make it uh, in proportion to her face because you can still see her face in the image okay so I'm gonna press control T again and I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm gonna go ahead and drag this corner in to make it smaller we're gonna want it about the same size or smaller than that nose ring just so it's proportional with the rest of the jewelry on her face okay so that's probably okay. I'll uh, I'll go ahead and leave it like that, <clears throat> and maybe move it back over slightly. Okay. So just be aware of where the different points of the ring are falling on her face, and then, um, like I said, you could be done at this point, but I'm going to go ahead and add a slight shadow to it, just to um, make it. A little bit more uh, believable since there's such harsh lighting on this image okay so what I want to do is I'm going to take this lip ring layer and I'm gonna make a copy of it and I'm gonna press control J on my keyboard to do that or you could just click this layer and drag it into the new layers button on your keyboard that does the same thing okay so now you'll take your lip ring copy and I'll go ahead and call it shadow and you're gonna to want to move that layer down below the lip ring layer okay and then uh, Go ahead and double click on that layer, it'll bring up your layer styles and put a color overlay on that and make it black. Okay? And that should be good for now. We'll press OK and that should uh, have applied. And you can kind of just drag that off to the side to see it. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to just uh, transform it a little bit so that it doesn't look exactly like the the ring you could leave it the same if you wanted to but uh, but I don't so I'm gonna go down to edit transform and probably distort because I just wanna just make it a little bit different here and I'm just gonna drag it very slightly to just make it something something maybe a little bit like that and it doesn't really matter because in this next step what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to filter down to blur and then add a Gaussian blur to it and I'm going to maybe make it two pixels. You're going to have to kind of gauge it by your image. I think I liked one pixel better. Two pixels is a little bit too much for this image, okay? And I'll press OK. And as you can see, the shadow is still really strong. So what I want to do is I want to take the opacity down to about like that. And then I'm just going to take and click and drag it back kind of pretty close or directly underneath of the lip ring and I'm just arrowing it a little bit and if I zoom in you can see there's just a slight drop shadow on it and that's what it would look like if uh, you know you saw this person in person and she had this lip ring okay so I'll zoom out and show you kinda of what the final product is okay so um, let's see I'll show you what uh, what she looked like before which is like this and this is what she looks like after you added the lip ring and that's it and you can add this uh, you can use this technique to add a, an earring or a lip ring a nose ring or a stud of some kind to you know somebody and uh, you, you could also use it for an eyebrow ring or whatever okay so I hope you learned a lot from this tutorial please uh, like the video if you want to support me and uh, please find me on Facebook and Twitter and uh, thanks again have a good day